So hello everyone. So in the last lecture we saw introduction to the building curves. First of all, let's talk about uh, what we learned in the previous video to it. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, all right. So in the previous video, what we did, we made a uh, uh, link list with uh, three nodes whose data were 10, 20, and 30, right? Now what we did was, suppose this initially our uh, link list was 10, 20, 30. So what we did here was, that head next would be equal to temp1, that means this thing, right? Temp next is going to be temp2, that means this, right? And uh, temp one previous is going to be head, that means this. And the temp two previous is going to be temp one. So this was the linked list. This is the linked list, right? It is a two-way relationship, you can see, right? So uh, we knew, uh, we understood like how to create a basic W linked list. And in this uh, video, we are going to learn insertion in a double linked list. We have seen insertion in a single linked list in one of the previous videos. So in this video, we are going to see uh, insertion in a double linked list. All right. So suppose we have to insert zero here. So output would look like some would look something like this. question is how to make this thing. Uh, take 10 minutes, take 5 minutes and try to come up with this solution. Otherwise, uh, you can continue watching this video. Right. Okay. Now here, let's make a node. Temp. This will be having new node. Uh, value that that is zero. All right. All. All right. Do it then. Let's make a function for it. That would be better. Let's call it insert b. Now we're going to have it move. Uh, we are going to pass head and the number. Right. Let's make the function node star insert b node star head comma index for it have the variable temp as node x right but now if this happens to be the first node what we are going to have we are going to have temps next as head right and we are going to have head previous as temp and we are going to return temp and this is going to be head is equal to function I see we haven't made display function so let's make a display function as well it is going to be node so head right let's have a node start here to be head then say y curve not equal to node see out curve data and um, what else yeah just move forward yeah that's fine that's good okay 
Hmm. Uh, okay. So we did the same. That's how we, we did in the previous singly linked list video. Before insertion, I'm going to write display head right and here also I want to say display head and one more line that could be C out after insertion. Now let's try and run this. There's one more thing. We have to have this. Okay. Now let's try and run this. Thing. See, the poor inflation or uh, it used to look like 10, 20, 30, right? And after insertion, it will be like 0, 10, 20, and 30. Okay, that's good. So, get this other output. Now, let's have, let's do one thing. Let's um, yeah, let's comment these out. And let's now do one. The first it's strong about it. See, uh, we have to now talk about inflation in the end. It increases here, looks like this. Right? We have to insert an element 40 in the end of the linked list so that this looks like this. Okay? The rest things will look the same, right? Now, um, how to do this thing? Okay, you may take your time, think about it, ponder on it, and come up with a solution. Otherwise, you can't like continue watching this video. So here, what we're going to do here is, um, okay, let's have one thing. Let's write. C out the full insertion. Okay. So do this play head. Okay. We are going to have insert E somewhere. We have head and let's say 40. We will write C out after insertion. We are going to have display head again. Alright? Yeah, good. Now uh, let's write our display. Insert E function. Okay. Mm, that's right. Now, um, let's have uh, our temp variable which is going to store X. Yep. Now, I uh, remember what did I tell you in this singly linked list video that we are going to access this last element right and how will we access this last element we run a loop and this element would be suppose cur is the iterator here so what will happen that this element would be then curs max would be null right so let's have the that thing that let's make another node curl is equal to head and we write while 
curve maps is um, not equal to null, what is going to happen? Now, curve would become curve. Next, that is it. Alright. Now, after uh, when this loop would be over, our curve would be here. Yeah, curve would be 30. Now, what we have to do? We have a temp as uh, 40. What we are just going to simply do that curve next is going to point towards this and temp view is going to point towards 30. That is what we require. So, let's write that simply. Curves next is equal to what? Temp and uh, let's write temp previous is going to be what we want. Good. Yes. And we are just going to simply return head. I guess that is it. Let's have head. Let's try and run this code. Okay. Yeah. Now let's run this. Let's see before insertion 0, 10, 20, 30. And after insertion 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. So, uh, yeah. That was all you had to learn in insertion and in this video. And in the next video, we are going to talk about another uh, basic operation of W necklace that would be deletion. deletion. Alright. So that's it for this video. And uh, see you later. Thank you.